three gold medals for Lisa. Is that is, is is that what you expected or is that what you hoped for? Yeah, I wouldn't say expected. I think if you come to the Olympics, Olympics expecting things, then um, well, you could be uh, you know you could be bitterly disappointed and um, maybe not all, maybe also just not quite pay attention to all the things that you need to pay attention to. So. Yeah, certainly that was the dream that was the, that was the aspiration um and that's what we worked for but certainly not not expecting it so yeah it, uh, it was it, uh, because of that i think it was just such a thrilling experience it was just a, an incredible few days down there on the, on the lake is she at the absolute peak of her powers by that i mean is she better than she's ever been yeah i think so yeah um i mean all this sort of training that we've done in the last uh, three four months indicate that yeah that that is the case and i would say that you know she certainly has had some good years um in the last kind of five or six but this this definitely yeah i think she's in, in the best shape of her life and um all the kind of yes yeah, some of the sessions that she's done and some of the time trials that she's done lately indicate that yes yeah, she certainly is um in pretty great shape and then it's another thing though doing it out on the racetrack eh? and um what was probably most impressive was turning all of that um sort of training um prowess into something on the race track in the in the hottest kind of um pressure environment so yeah probably a combination of both those things being physically and mentally prepared and then delivering when it mattered do you get a feeling before Lisa races that you know that she, you know, this is oh, she's she's good to go? I mean, this is this, you know, she's this this is going to be a win. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say this is going to be a win, but um, more like this is going to be a great paddle today. Or I feel like she's really clear and she she knows exactly what she's she needs to do. So um, I, I think you know the winning is determined by a number of other factors. You know. The, the the other athletes in the race uh but certainly I, I get a feeling that she's ready to uh like deliver a great paddle today so um and yeah i, I mean sometimes we're right on that one but you know there's they, we're not always right gordon walker is with us lisa carrington's coach how long have you two been together i started uh coaching here around uh sort of late 2010 so um it's uh yeah coming on 14 years how long are you going to stay together <laughs> well uh i mean uh we, well obviously we've, we've we've been uh a long time together so i don't know what the future holds for her and uh, i don't know what the future holds for myself at this stage certainly um interested in a pretty decent break right now it's been a, a pretty full-on campaign and uh, one that you know both of us have put you know every every kind of inch of ourselves into it's um has required absolute commitment um from her from myself and and also from the rest of the team um everyone included not just the paddlers the support staff so um you know and, and i knew that um i wanted a bit of a break after this and so um and, and i'm pretty sure so does she um so um and as consequence and enable us to kind of give this as I said, just a hundred percent of ourselves so uh, we'll see what the future holds when do you decide about whether or not you're going to go to la because she did indicate that hey she she, she hasn't finished yet um i mean i think i think it's something that um was i guess she never made really made a definitive decision on whether or not she would or wouldn't retire after these games and um i think regardless of who you are as an athlete i think when you finish a campaign like this you have to take some time to reflect and um, and who knows what that kind of journey of reflection looks like. It might take you a week, it might take you a month, but I think it's important to take that time and and really kind of ask yourself what is it that you what is it you want out of this and um, what's 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 the mission and if there's something that kind of lights a fire in you then yeah, then it's time to go again. If Lisa retired, would you continue coaching at this level? I think it's, um, it wouldn't be something that, uh, it's not like a binary decision that if she retired, I'd retire, or if she didn't retire, um, that I wouldn't retire. I think 
know, each of us our own people and um we you know there's there's lots of uh, lots of things that have that are on offer for each of us i think beyond uh, beyond canoeing so um i'm you know i'm really keen to talk with her not so much around whether or not she wants to continue kayaking but just you know what is what does the future hold for her um it's something that we've you know we've touched on quite a lot over the years and um something that you know i sort of feel that you, you know when when the right when the when you know what the right decision is you, you know you make it but it's not something you can really think about until you've finished a campaign like this gordon walker is with us glorious olympic games for lisa carrington well for all our canoers uh you know and kayakers and you know collecting gold again three golds this time three in in paris you've been together 14 years i've just done some quick maths that's two-fifths of her life what does it take <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's a, what does what does it take? You know, we're always fascinated with the relationship between coach and players. Uh, how how just just describe that? How 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 close are you? How 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 able are you to be able to talk to her and tell her things she may not like to hear? How has that developed over the years? Well, I mean, I, I guess every coach is going to have their own style, aren't they? And and. Um... And 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 the, I guess the longer you spend together, the more that the opportunity to be able to challenge someone might um, sort of eventuate. But um, you know, for you know, as I said, like every coach has a different style. But certainly, um, I would say that something that I've always kind of been pretty consistent with with Lisa is I've, I have felt that she has got an incredible talent and phenomenal capability, and that. Um, part of the role that I have with her is to help her to I, I mean it's probably not the right turn of phrase but to full, kind of fulfill that talent and to realize her potential because as said sort of earlier on in the interview I, I do believe this is the best that she's ever been and if she didn't turn around and go again after Tokyo we would never have known that all of this is possible and and sort of it, it would feel like a shame to have left that behind now that we're you know we've come this far so um, and I wouldn't say it's it's challenging in the sense that you're not um, arguing with someone, but challenging in in the sense that you are um, challenging them to challenge themselves to be better than they think they can be, and that would be the same as um, in every athlete I coach, and, and, you know, particularly the other three there in the boat that challenging their beliefs, challenge the challenging the things that they traditionally think that that are true, and I think that through that challenge it's enabled us to be a lot better than anyone ever imagined so um i think it's a little bit of your coaching style but certainly something that's um you know helped because we've been together for such a long time 